Hello, Big Fatone here. So I'm I'm using the version here from Adam Bird, who's a friend of mine. Uh, it's before I realized there was actually um, an original version. I couldn't find it in the beginning, so I used this version, which I think is fine anyway. Um, I'll leave both um, the original and this one. Um, both sources I'll leave in the, in the description, and you can check out the details in them, uh, etc. Obviously, any questions you can uh, ask me about this. I'll play. I'll play the the full clip and stabilized and edited. So you know we're going to get loads of questions and you know criticisms about this one. I have I have watched Power Breakdowns review video on this. So <laughs> you know I'm kind of prepared for all the uh, questions. Let's play let's just go straight into the uh, stabilization which I which I did. Yeah, this one's already been uh kind of stabilized. Um but I've zoomed in here and uh did my own kind of stabilization. Uh, I've taken out the audio. Now, one of the um, the, uh, the things that really stood out to me was the the stockiness um, in the shoulders and the fact that it appears to have no neck and the head is so low down in in the shoulders. And yeah, it has a conical head. You know, we can if if this was a hood or some kind of um, hunting costume or whatever, wouldn't you expect there to be um, be higher than? I mean, it's already very low. The head is very low down in the sh in the set in the shoulders. But if if there was a, a hood, you would expect it surely to be um, much higher than this. So if you can imagine how low down the head is already especially if it's a hood and also the the width I think is, is um, quite impressive and also at one point we can see that the head is um, is is quite far forward here just there as it turns to the left and then we can see even a uh, more of a conical head there yeah, the I do believe the left arm does reach out at one point. If we look, uh, if we look closely here, uh, where is it? Scroll back and forth. If we see this this point here, we see grass kind of move, uh, displace itself and move forward. I believe this is the point where the the hand is reaching out and. Uh, kind of brushing aside the grass here. We we'll scroll back and forth here, just there. If you look here, just here. So there's a hand there somewhere. We can't see the hand, but it's brushing and displacing the grass as, it, as it's reaching. So I, that if that is the hand, then it's it's a long hand. It really is. I do believe. And I believe this dark spot here, which will appear as I scroll forward, is part of the of the arm. See there, same color, brown color. If we go back, it's not there. Only when he reach it reaches forward, just there, and we see this grass move. There's a bit of a darker version. Might be easier to see. Um, just there. There's the part of the arm, and there's the grass moving out the way. There you go. Um, other other than that, it's uh, yeah, it it. it 
I'm not saying it's definitely a Sasquatch, but it, what interests me is the how low down the head is uh, set in the shoulders, mainly, and the arm length, which I showed you. Um, the head position is uh, quite forward, and the conical head, obviously. Um, here's a black and white vision. And one more time, the colour. Um, another thing I just, just realised, I remembered, is the audio. In the audio, we, we hear um, dogs barking. this is a hunter it could be his dog um, somewhere possibly ahead um, but I get a feeling it's coming from the car which is pulled over and the car belonging to the the uh, person filming so it's probably a, a dog um, in the car barking at whatever this is <laughs> Alright, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.